at the women's tournament. Now it's time for the men's recurve team event. Shooting over 70 meters over the water here in Shanghai. It's time for the bronze medal match. We've seen some interesting lineups here in Shanghai uh, throughout our finals sessions. And uh, what is unusual here is that Korea are in the bronze medal match. They lost to Chinese Taipei in the top semi final. And uh, it's Bangladesh who will be their opponents. They made it through to the semi finals, beating India 5 1 in the quarters. And then they lost to Turkey 5 3. So Korea versus Bangladesh. They seem to be ready to come out onto the field of play here. We look across the water here. I've seen a couple of uh, koi carp in that uh, beautiful pond. And uh, just on the edge there, I think we can see a little turtle. Yeah, I like looking at the turtles. It's a really unique location for any kind of sporting event. Uh, it's wonderful to see the uh, arrows flying across the water into the target. And uh, right in the center of uh, this park in the central business district of Shanghai, we're not too far away from the Yangtze River, uh, and of course Shanghai on the delta. The sun is shining, the umbrellas are up, and it looks like the crowd are ready. They know that they're on camera but they can see the athletes waiting to come out. Time for bronze in the men's team recurve. <laughs> well, out on to target one, it's Korea. I think they will be disappointed to be having lost to Chinese Taipei, and they'll be confident of uh, taking on their opponents. It's Kim Kui Jin, Li Wu Xiong, and Li Sung Young. 247, uh, sorry, 2047 in the uh, ranking round, a combined score of world number one team and the number one ranked team here in Shanghai. Here of Bangladesh. Representing Bangladesh. Mohammed Kamimo Yesmas. Samuel Mohammed, Ruman Shana, and Mohammed Rubel. Ranked 14th at 1963 through the ranking round. And they'll be pleased to be here, and they'll be uh, pleased that they gave Turkey a bit of a challenge in the semi finals, only losing out 5 3. No pressure on them. Uh, the Koreans on target one look like they'll be shooting first. You know, something to think about, about two years ago, I believe, uh, the Korean men were against uh, Kazakhstan in the gold medal match, and it was quite an upset, so it would be very okay. interesting to see on the same stage there's an upset today. There we go, shooting for bronze here in Shanghai, Korea on target one, We'll go first, and it's all about the start here. Kim Woo Jin will start this bronze medal match. With our favorite Korean coach behind them. For the character. Pulling left a little bit there, uh, 27 out of a possible 30. Uh, that won't uh, put uh, too much fear in Bangladesh, but they need to start well as well. Nice. 
Shana leading the way with a nine. Career right now. Yeah, and uh, quite dialed into the centre, good communication between the athletes in the Bangladesh team. One low, one high, and then one right in the middle. How can Kim Woo Jin respond for Korea? Right. Who's <laughs> got Two nines leave the door open for Bangladesh. Coach offering some advice, uh, but that one drifting into the nine as well. So, a big chance here for Bangladesh. Honestly, just staying in the gold right now is the key for Bangladesh to be able to take this first set. Just a little better than gold. That is a cracker. This is turning into a match. Bangladesh are putting the pressure on. Great start from the team from Bangladesh. They needed to make sure they didn't let Korea run away at the beginning. It's almost as if Bangladesh is kind of sending a message to Korea and saying, hey, we're here to play too. Well, four nines in that, that uh, set of six, but it was the two tens that would make the Koreans wake up here and that one it was an absolute cracker millimeters away from the very center of the target at 70 meters a cracking start from the Bangladeshi team well they had a little uh, high five and, a little, and now they're setting themselves down that's definitely key in these finals. It's good to get a head start. It's good to be confident, but you have to maintain your process. You have to stay focused on talking to each other, shooting strong shots, and really executing well. Well, Korea, unusually for them, trailing will shoot first in the second set. They trail by two, so they need a good start to lay down a marker for Bangladesh. Perhaps a little adjustment there from Kim Woo Jin. Uh, arrows in the first one just going left, that one going right. Kim Woo Jin finding the centre of the target, handing over to his teammate Lee Seung Young. So 28 out of a maximum 30. Scoring just one more than their first three in the first set. Tickling the line perhaps. Marked as an eight. Cracking start. No move to side. Keep long turning, yeah? That's 
better though. 25 out of a possible 30 uh, mini advantage there for uh, career at the halfway stage of this second set, but uh, an eight and a seven, mm, perhaps not good enough against this Korean team. I think it's kind of dangerous when Kamujin finds the center of the target. They're leading out the line for this Korean trio as well. Instills confidence in his teammates. Also landing a 10. So they've only dropped two points so far in this second set. More like the career we're used to seeing. Ooh, that's, uh, marked as a nine, but that could go to a measure as well. Either way, this one's out of reach for Bangladesh, and Korea will be level on set points halfway through this medal match here in Shanghai. Yeah. Nine. 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 Okay. Two nines, they're finding the center here, out of reach, so a uh, bit of practice for the next set. Yeah, these would be uh, practice arrows so that they can know that they can start out strong because uh, actually they'll, they'll be shooting second. I was going to say they were going to shoot first, but they will still be shooting Eight, second because it'll go to the original order. Yeah, so the Koreans there uh, finding their form, taking the set 57 to 51, dropping just the three points and drawing level on set points. And uh, they really were much better in that second set. Three tens, three nines. Kim Wee Jin landing that uh, 10 again. And Lee Woo Suk also three of the six arrows going into the center of the target. A little bit of a uh, more relaxed in the camp. Yeah, it's a little bit of joking. Yeah, he's, he's vocal. We can yeah. say the uh, Korean coach, oh, but when they're in that break, when they're in between sets, he is a, a little bit more relaxed and a little bit more calm. So it's a real uh, d drastic change in, in his volume. I think the thing to remember too is that each individual archer is their own worst critic. So you're already hard on yourself. You kind of need your coach to help you get out of that that uh, like self-critical state and, and get you back to where you can shoot. Well, Korea back in this match, uh, two set points each at the halfway stage. I'll shoot first this for the bronze medal in Shanghai. Well, pressure put on again by the Koreans, 29 out of uh, 30, but Bangladesh responding. Yep. Ah, <laughs> On the line, marked up to a 10. Smooth. Ah. Ah. Tripping into the nine, so a fight back from Bangladesh here. But the Koreans dropping one point. 
the telltale glasses moved for Kim Woo Jin. I think that's what's needed for those tens. I think if he doesn't move his glasses, it's not a ten. Trademark part of his process. Marks a nine, that's pretty close, but uh, they need a maximum of 30 here to take the set points. 29, and they'll share them. Two tens will, will get them to uh, split these set points. You know, one thing, Kareem, is that Bangladesh is looking like they've been here before. I think this is one of their first actual finals fields, but yeah. they're, they're treating it like they've been here before. Yeah, well, with the, the coach, uh, Martin Fredericks, in the camp, he's used to that. He uh, helped Chilean archer Denise Van Laumann uh, win the World Championship some time ago, and uh, the German coach really helping out the Bangladeshis. I think that was back in 2011. Oh. An open door for Bangladesh, and I, I think that's <laughs> maybe not what they had hoped for. Uh, a big opportunity, as you say, but I think sometimes the experience of uh, being on uh, in the podium situation can be a real, real problem on the mind. Uh, Korea there shooting their Thames, Lee Woo Suk hitting a 10 and uh, Lee Sun Young also hitting 10s uh, but Kim Woo Jin also in the middle and uh, there was an opportunity for Bangladesh Martin Fredericks fist bumping all around if we have a look at that last set from them the opportunity was there but the seven at the end just skipped away from them and uh, well Korea finding the middle time and time again in the second set Bangladesh just that one seven enough to give the set points to Korea can Bangladesh fight back though or will the Koreans uh, give their coach Chase soon a late birthday present it was his birthday yesterday apparently I'd like to see a shoot off Shootoffs are always fun, so I'd like to see one. Well, Bangladesh trailing will need to put the pressure on Korea with some high scoring here at the beginning of the fourth set to force that position for them. It's been grouping a little high. I'd be given, uh, giving my side a couple of clicks right there, but... Um, maybe it's just a shot feel for him that he knows where it's going to go. Okay. A little wind right side. Any middle? Here the uh, athletes talking to each other. A little wind on the right side, I think he said. Yeah. 27 out of 30, not bad. Move. Move, 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 move down and keep long, huh? Okay. That's a good way to answer. Can we jump right down the middle? And often when he's the one that scores with a 10, at least one of his teammates follows, if not both.
29 gives them a two point mini advantage halfway through this set. Remember, they only need to match Bangladesh's total score to take the bronze medal here in Shanghai. Solid scoring. But nine's just not enough against the Koreans. That's where they need to be to, to put any kind of pressure on this Korean team. Another 10 really is what Bangladesh need here. Just dropping into the nine, so 55 out of a potential 60. Korea have a potential target of 59, so a four point space for breathing here. They can drop four and still take this bronze medal. Kim Woo Jin beginning with another 10. Lee Ryushuk can really take the pressure off his anchor man Lee Sung Yun. Another 10 from Lee Ryushuk. And a 6 is all that's required to draw level on points in this set with Bangladesh and take the bronze medal here in Shanghai. Oh, a 10 to finish, and it's a late happy birthday present for Park Jae Soon, the Korean coach, as he watches his trio take the bronze here in Shanghai. Well, Korea starting with a an unusually low 54 in the first set, but then really back on form, 57, 57, 59, just dropping the single point in the last set as we get confirmation that they win the bronze medal here in Shanghai.